Hey there. My name is Miss Chelsea, and I teach sixth grade math at Washington Middle School. Before we get started talking about math, I want to start us off by looking at this quote by Richard Riley, former Secretary of Education. We are currently preparing students for jobs that don't yet exist, using technologies that haven't been invented in order to solve problems we don't even know are problems yet. I bet you'd agree that this quote is even truer than when it was said 20 years ago. To build on Richard Riley, I'd like to say that we are building the change makers and forward thinkers of the future. Let's talk about how this connects to what we're doing in math class in sixth grade. Students will learn to hone their problem solving skills by learning to think like a mathematician. Students will learn to ask themselves things like, what's important to notice here? Or how does this connect to math I already know? Or what could I draw or create to show the important quantities and relationships in this problem? Learning to think like a mathematician means that we're building sense makers, not just answer getters. In addition to becoming mathematical thinkers, students will grow their reasoning and communication muscle. Students will learn about how to be a skeptic. That means we're going to talk about what makes convincing evidence and what do you need to do to convince others? Or maybe, what evidence do I need to be convinced? Also to grow our reasoning skills, we're going to focus on the why, not just the how of mathematics. Instead of just learning procedures on how to do things, we want students to deeply understand the concepts that they're learning. Lastly, we're gonna learn how to model with mathematics. That means that we're gonna represent real world problems in various ways, like using equations or other visuals, because this can help us better deepen our understanding of an idea, but also help us to understand how someone else might view this problem differently. So in math class, there will be lots of opportunities to explore real world problems, like problems with packaging or food waste or even marketing like how do businesses get us to spend money let's take our final moment here to look at the concepts that we'll focus on in sixth grade a few of those concepts include using symbols to describe the world visualizing the center and spread of data folding and unfolding objects reasoning with proportions, finding and uni using unit rates, taking apart prisms and polygons, generalizing, and expanding the number line.